Update. My boyfriend's brother is asking us to break up or else he'll walk out of the family. Original post. I, 21 female, and my boyfriend, 21 male, have been together since we were 17. We have a healthy relationship and I have a fantastic relationship with his family as well. I spent every Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and any events in between with his family. His mom and I get along really well, and my boyfriend annoyingly complains about how she calls me more than him. Same with his father, who's been a second father figure to me, and always reminds me I'm more like a daughter to him than his son's girlfriend. My boyfriend has an older brother, 24 male, who I also get along with just fine, but is more kept to himself, so I don't know him as well as the rest. His older brother recently got himself a girlfriend, and actually the first time since I've met him as he had a girlfriend. This Halloween weekend was my boyfriend's parents' anniversary, and they invited me over, as usual, but also asked the brother to bring his girlfriend over for the first time. His girlfriend is the same age as me, so I was looking forward to meeting her. That Saturday, I arrived at my boyfriend's parents' place early, as me and his mother had plans to cook a large meal for everyone. That afternoon was mostly just me, my boyfriend, and his parents hanging out. The girlfriend came later in the evening with his brother. Right off the bat, she became overly comfortable with my boyfriend and his father. She said, I didn't know all the men in your family are handsome, and gave both men a rather tight and long hug. She then made her way over to his mother, ignoring me completely and saying, You're so pretty. Watch out though, your husband's on my radar. Immediately his mother turned to me and whispered, I have a bad feeling about her. We stayed in the kitchen, but the kitchen looks into the living room so we saw everything go down. The girlfriend sat in both my boyfriend's at his dad's lap when trying to talk to them, and both men seemed uncomfortable. Soon my boyfriend joined us in the kitchen and said, I don't like her. I called her over to taste the pasta. We all like spicy food, but I didn't know if she could handle it. To which she took a bite and said, It's good. I see why they keep bringing you around. That compliment felt backhanded, and I felt more uneasy with her. We sat up the dining table, and it was time for dinner. My boyfriend's family usually says grace before the meal, and invited a girlfriend to leave today as she was a guest. The girlfriend accepted and happily thanked God for the food and all the members, intentionally leaving me out of the grace. I didn't mind too much, but my boyfriend and his mom looked at me with the you saw that look in their eyes. As the dinner moved along, my boyfriend's dad grilled her with questions about her life and this and that, something he did to me as well. She seemed like a decent girl from a decent background. After he was done, he started asking me about the things I was working on and my plans for graduate school. Before I could answer, she interrupted and started talking about her work and how much she hated it. I could tell my boyfriend's dad didn't really want to listen, as he gave dry responses back and then turned back to me and just asked how my family was doing. This trend went on the whole night, where every time I was acknowledged, she would interrupt me. Near the end of dinner, she jokingly said, Be careful, David, the brother's name. I might just leave you for Blake, my boyfriend's name. I'm at a point where I don't get jealous or annoyed at this type of stuff. So I went along and said, Yeah, Blake, remember to invite me to the wedding when it happens. That seemed to be the breaking point for the girlfriend, as she started crying out and saying, she's been trying to embarrass me the entire night. She then went on a ramble about how I'm hogging my boyfriend's family and making her look bad in front of them. Right after dinner, she dragged my boyfriend's brother out of the house with her and they left for the night. We invited them to stay over for the weekend. My boyfriend's family apologized to me for having to witness that, and we all chilled down to some drinks and kept the celebration going without them. The next day... My boyfriend's mother gets a call from the brother who seemed extremely pissed off. She put her phone on speaker so we all heard him talk. He said his girlfriend is really upset with me and his family. How she's now having doubts about him and their relationship. She says that as long as I'm involved in the family, she doesn't think that a relationship with him will work out. The brother then began to ask that I break up with my boyfriend, so his girlfriend would stop crying and finally have peace with her relationship. My boyfriend denied her request, so did his parents. To which the brother then said, Either she's out of the family, or I am. I don't want to end this relationship over someone who's not related to us in the first place. Since then, no one has been able to get a hold of him and is stressing his parents and my boyfriend out a lot. I feel guilty, but also confused in what to do. I don't want to break apart this family, but I love my boyfriend and his parents too. I don't know what to do or how to process any of this. Now for the top advice before reading the update. So he leaves sees what a train wreck she is, and comes back in a year or three, tail between his legs. He's got some growing up to do. A year or three. No way he lasts that long, unless he knocks her up. If that happens, then he is well and truly screwed. Don't disagree with the basic advice to let the brother run off with his ticking bomb. Just wait for him to curl back with his face blown off.
Yeah, she's going to isolate him. The emotional mistreatment has already started and will get worse. I don't want to end this relationship over someone is not related to us in the first place. Idiot is willing to end it because of his girlfriend. Dude needs to take a chill pill and dump the overly dramatic twat. You hope the brother sees sense and dump this crazy lady. Don't you dare feel guilty. You did nothing wrong. And give your boyfriend's mom and dad a hug. It's wonderful when you find a great family. Sounds like they got your back. Don't engage. The girlfriend is clearly disliked by the entire family. The brother is clearly desperate for the first person that showed him some attention. She was grossly inappropriate and made everyone uncomfortable. Leave yourself out of it. The brother will stay away, realize she's insane, and not worth having zero friends or family for. And now for the update. Thank you for the response. I feel reassured knowing I'm not selfish to stay with the family. And I plan on keeping things how it is and not letting my boyfriend's brother or girlfriend take control of the situation. An update on the situation that sort of gives me more clarity in why everything happened. This morning my boyfriend's mother got a hold of his brother and we all went over again and sat down together. No girlfriend this time. The brother seemed to calm down a lot more and apologized for the commotion the other night. However, he's still backing up on my boyfriend and is breaking up for the betterment of his relationship. There was a lot of back and forth between my boyfriend and his brother. A lot of what he simply chose to stay out of. His brother got angry again. And right before he left, he said, You can shove that ring up your bottom, don't think about inviting me to the wedding. He left after that, and the room got tense. So my boyfriend opened up to me about something. Basically, he planned to propose to me. Not now, but he bought the ring a few months ago and told his family, including his brother about it. He said the tension between his brother and him started the moment he told him he planned to propose to me. I don't know if I should be happy my boyfriend wants to marry or upset that this was sorta of over a ring. Now I'm still confused on the girlfriend's behavior, but I think I can safely say that beyond a girlfriend, a big reason the brother was upset was over the fact me and my boyfriend are gonna get married. That's the update for me. Also, a lot of people ask about my boyfriend's older brother's dating history, and I found out this was the first time he dated someone since he was 16. He's 24 now. Anyways, that's all. My boyfriend is bummed out that he had to spill the beans on his plan, but we talked it out and he said he's gonna officially propose with a ring in his planned time. I'm gonna stay with him. I'm gonna keep my distance from that family though for the time being, just in case any more mishaps happen. Ah, so brother and girlfriend are both insecure jealous types. Crazy squared. That's going to be fun for them. You've definitely got the right idea, Opie. Best to stay away from them as much as possible going forward. God help us when they have kids. That will be the next pawn used to make the family bend to their will. You don't need to distance yourself from his family because one, they like you, and two, when you get married, they'll officially become your family too, although you pretty much are already. As for petty girlfriend, I'd suggest that if she dares to show her face again, you kill her with kindness. It'll drive her insane. Your boyfriend's brother may be acting like a toddler, but he's still an adult. And if he wants to throw away his family for her, then that's his choice and nothing to do with you, your boyfriend or anyone else. Let him reap what he sow. It might be the only way he learns that the world doesn't revolve around him getting access to a vagina. Came here to say exactly this. Don't distance yourself from the family. It's not their fault that a brother and his girlfriend are acting like children. My husband's brother tried many dirty tricks to break us up. He had a reason though. He wanted to pull a stunt over his mother's house and he couldn't do it while husband was still around. He wanted him to go back to living in Australia without me. It didn't work. We're still here 23 years married. So what was your boyfriend's brother's reason for not wanting you two to marry? I'm not sure actually. All I know is that he's been upset since the whole ring thing. So I'm guessing it's because we are getting married. So I'm spitballing based off limited information from the two posts, but I think it's genuine envy. He only listed two examples, with an eight-year gap between if one brother has dated anyone. Meanwhile, you and your boyfriend have had a multi-year relationship where the entire family loves you and accepts you as one of their own. So I think brother has been stewing in jealousy this entire time from watching this play out, while having no partner of his own. Now that your boyfriend wants to propose to you, the jealousy is boiled over into full-blown envy. Brother wishes he had a relationship like his brother's, but he doesn't. So now he wants to take what your boyfriend has but replacing you with his own girlfriend. Which is why brother is giving this ultimatum. It isn't enough for him to have a loving relationship of his own. He needs your boyfriend's relationship to end so he can feel better about himself slash his own relationship. I don't think it was ever about the girlfriend itself. 
Next story is titled My sister, 30 female, broke my fiancé's 27 male wrist and now he won't marry me, 26 female, unless I cut her and the rest of my family out of my life. We have been together a little over three years and have one year old. Our relationship has been kind of rough because he has issues with employment and his mental health. We got into an argument recently and he left. He was gone for a few days, so I asked my sister to watch my daughter while I was at work. But I had to leave early because he came back and she wouldn't let him in. My sister started interrogating him about where he was and if he had illegal substance on him. He used to do them. My fiancé got defensive and asked her to leave. She wouldn't and it turned into a big argument and kept putting his hand in her face. So she grabbed it and bedded his hand back really hard and snapped and broke his wrist. I had to take him to the hospital and begged him not to file a report. Now my fiancé has given me an ultimatum. Either cut out my sister or he's going to leave. He wants me to cut out the rest of my family too because they heard what's happened and they're on my sister's side. They think he provoked her and brought up all the stuff he did in the past as an excuse and why I don't need him. But I want to stay with him because our daughter needs her father and our problems can be fixed. But I don't want to cut out my family either. I know my sister and family are looking out for me, but I can't have them always going after my fiancé or him after them. How can I keep both? Edit. He answered some questions in the comments. I knew he had issues when we met, and I wasn't willing to work through them. I was a mess myself when we met, and I've been working on myself a lot. He just has to get there. This relationship sounds insanely toxic and beyond broken. There's nothing to save here. That said, in this particular instance, he's not wrong. She tried to keep him from entering his own house, and then attacked him. But honestly, it's beyond a point. A relationship doesn't progress to this point of chaos unless it's been dead for a long time. Your daughter will be much better off if the two of you focus on peacefully co-parenting. Being raised in a toxic environment is way worse than being raised by parents who aren't together. Absolutely. I could see me and my ex going downhill fast. We agreed the best decision was to split, for my kid's sake. We now get on fantastically and split parenting 50-50. She's the happiest kid you could ever see. Never stay together for the kids. They know. They learn bad habits and they think it's normal. Your fiancé left after an argument for a couple days? That's not how an adult handles an argument. He sounds flighty. And the fact that he's given you an ultimatum just shows you that you need to stick with your family. They sound like they can support you better than a father who leaves their fiancé and child for a couple days. Now for the last story. Girlfriend, 26, thinks she can do better. I told her to go for it. I, 26, have been with my girlfriend, 26, for over six years. We met at a mutual friend's birthday party, and the next day she hit me up on Snapchat. She got my Snapchat from the mutual friend. After that, we went on a few dates, and since I wasn't feeling it, I called it off. We were out of contact for about a year. We again met at a local multimedia institute and were in the same class. Long story short, after a few months we started dating and we have been together ever since. The last six years have been fun, and I have enjoyed this being with her. We are currently in a rough patch. Last week, we had an argument over petty stuff and she told me that she can do better, and I should be more grateful. I told her that the door is right there, and I don't need her, and if she thinks she's some sort of a prize, she's mistaken. Yeah, I know I said stuff I probably didn't mean, and it was just in the heat of the moment. She left and after that, I low-key thought our relationship had ended. I didn't try to contact her. A few days ago, she asked me if I wanted to say something to her via text. I didn't bother replying. Today she apologized via text, and that how sorry she is and didn't mean what she said blah blah. I don't know what to do. Still hurts what she said and I don't know if I want to feel this down the line again. Anyone here who has tried going back from a situation like this? Any advice? I want to try fix things because otherwise six years would be wasted, but I'm very doubtful about our future. I haven't replied to her yet, but I know soon I have to if I want to either fix things or end them. What do you guys think? I know I said messed up stuff and so did she. Please dial down to hate. Edit. I'll start by apologizing and doing what's right. I do owe her an apology for what I said since she apologized for what she said. Other than that, I don't know much. I'll talk to her. And if I feel like this is something I want to be in and she is also on the same page, we will try to sort it out. You know what's worse than wasting six years of your life with someone? Wasting seven years. Yep, that time has already passed. There's no point investing more time if that is the only reason you want to stay. And it's not totally wasted. Probably learned some things and grown as a person and partner in those six years. 
but sometimes you grow apart. It would be if you want to work on it for the positive parts, that's fine too. But don't stay just because it's been X years. That's not a reason to stay. Why would ending it be a waste? To me, you already made your mind. You didn't contact her and don't really want to continue this relationship. The previous six years together, for the most part, have been good. Not trying seems like a waste. I'm feeling very conflicted at the moment. If you enjoyed that time together, it wasn't a waste. Staying with someone because you've been with them for that long is a bad reason to stay. So the question you need to ask yourself is, do you want to continue this relationship or is it over? Both of you said some messed up things. This relationship is over. As you stated, you want to save this relationship because of the six years invested, not because you still love each other. Don't fall a victim to sunk cost fallacy.